And joining us here today is Johnny Katz from Las Vegas Review Journal. Hello. And you guys know when he's here, we're going to talk entertainment. Entertainment all yep. the way. You, you know it, yes. All right. Mm -hmm. So we do have our favorite here, Britney Spears. I heard she has a musical coming and to She Broadway? has, yeah, Once Upon a uh, One More Time is the name of this musical, and it's going to be uh, Britney Spears' music in a full, fully realized uh, musical uh, pr uh, production that's going to go to Broadway. It's going to be uh, showcased in Chicago first, and these are her songs that are in uh, a bunch of uh, fairy tale character, fairy princesses, uh, Rapunzel, Snow White. Those those characters are among them, and they reinvent their stories in a modern context. And her music, it sounds a lot to me like right. the revisionist uh, story of Wicked, oh, applied okay. to a number of fairy tale princesses. So yeah, Snow White's in there, Rapunzel, so Sleeping not, Beauty. Yeah. It's not exactly Britney It's going to be in Broadway. But Britney it's herself is not in the show, and it's not a show about her life, but she's uh, exec the executive producer oh. and licensing her music to be, she's co-creating it essentially, with the Niederlander group, which owns a bunch of theaters in, in uh, on Broadway, and that's how it's going to get to Broadway. So look for it in uh, Probably either late this year or early 2020. Mm, something yeah. for, if you're a Britney fan, if you like her song, something mm -hmm. to enjoy. I love the concept. Yeah, they're all in a book club and they read the, uh, 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 they get into a, some contemporary literature and that's how their lives change, these characters. So they're, they're, it's a new take on old characters okay. with Britney Spears music. All right, from one big star to another, a star is born. Mm -hmm. our, our favorite, uh, I believe he was Lady Gaga's. The father, father in the movie. Mm -hmm. He played Lorenzo in the movie. Dice Clay. Dice he's, Clay. he's coming into the Laugh Factory at the Tropicana this weekend. You can see Dice Clay live. And he's going to be at 10 p.m. on um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's the Laugh Factory's 10th, uh, or I'm sorry, 7th anniversary at the Tropicana. It's The club itself has a long history in that position. But Harry Basil is a comic who runs the place. Mm -hmm. Dice will be on stage. And he's got another movie that's yeah, coming up from, that. from the writer of Green Book. Uh, Nick Balalengo has assigned uh, a part for Dice in a movie called That's Amore. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be coming out probably next year, too. This is going to be a big deal for Dice, and he's, yeah. it's a romantic musical comedy. Hmm. And Dice so Clay in the middle of it. I thought A Star is Born was going to be his last movie, or so he said so. He told me yesterday all about That's Amore. <laughs> <laughs> so never say never if you're Dice Clay. He's always reinventing himself, and he's, got, he's still got a terrifically entertaining live uh, act, and I'm going to be seeing him this weekend. So he's always doing yeah. something, and he's a great actor. Yeah. Dice this is a great actor. Obviously, and mm -hmm. here, of course, here in Las Vegas, we're used to seeing big stars, Paul McCartney. Yes, they don't get any bigger than Paul McCartney. <laughs> Paul McCartney's added a date at the uh, T-Mobile Arena. He originally had um, a June uh, 29th date mm -hmm. set, and they had have added one before that, June 28th, to his T-Mobile uh, Arena tour stop on the Freshen Up Live tour. This is in support of his album called Egypt Station, which went to number one. But when you see Paul McCartney, you get a lot of Beatles, you get Wings, mm -hmm. you get his solo career. Um, he, it's an incredible show. And when you see Paul McCartney, know to put this in context, Paul McCartney's encores, the encores of his live shows are longer than Beatles concerts used to be. They, they're more than a half hour, and the Beatles played for a half hour in their heyday in their live show. And Paul is, uh, he's just terrific, and we're, I'm really looking forward to this. This is going to be, uh, yeah, yeah. It, 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 they added the second date because the first one sold out. Sold out, mm -hmm. obviously. He's still very popular. Yeah. A lot of people want to see him. Absolutely. I still haven't seen him, so I, it's you got to see him. List. You have to see him because you never know. You know, yeah. uh, the, Every tour is, you know, the last chance you might be able to see him. But right. he's nonstop touring these days. Yeah, and before we go, I just want to acknowledge, so you did something good over the weekend. I did. Mm -hmm. Tell us more about well, that. Oscar Goodman did something good <laughs> for me. This is, uh, folks. This is St. Baldrick's season. I say it's fedora season. And there it is. The hair is gone. We <laughs> shaved it down Saturday. You can still donate at stbaldricks.org. You can follow me on Twitter and, and get links to that. But we, uh, yeah, Saturday was part of the shave-a-thon there. We're trying to raise $600,000. They're still counting the money and still taking donations. And this is my... Uh, seventh year well, of doing it. We appreciate you. <laughs> look good. We do like his look. <laughs> the fedora season. <laughs> and, it's, and it's for a good cause. Yes, it is. I yeah. love the St. Baldrick's people. They're all friends of mine, and we do it every year. This year was at New York, New York. So well, here we, we go. We love the new look, right? <laughs> yep. For two months, I look like this. Well, well, thank you so much for joining us. Of course, we always love having you here. Love and coming down. <laughs> we'll be right back.